Appreciate the speaker. I appreciate the ability to address a few of my colleagues here on the floor of the House. I would note, though, here we are again. We're sitting here at the precipice of a government funding uh, running out, and I hear all my colleagues talking about uh, how great it is. We're going to come up with some great big omnibus bill, and I'm hearing that from my colleagues on both sides of the aisle. Mm. Nobody in America wants us to plus up more spending irresponsibly. Nobody in America wants us to say, oh, let's pat ourselves on the back now because some of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle are saying, well, you know what, it's time now to ban Russian oil. It's not good enough to ban Russian oil if we're not going to open up American oil and gas. Thank Amen. you. All we're going to do is provide more money to Venezuela, more money to Saudi, more money to Iran. Just but yet, just that's being touted as a victory. And some of mm -hmm. my colleagues on this side of the aisle are saying, okay, good. Oh, this is great. But my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, they don't want any oil. They don't mind your gas being $4, $7, $10 a gallon. Don't get played. But my colleagues on this side of the aisle are about to get played. And everybody back home is saying, what are you going to do to stop vaccine mandates? Nothing. What are you going to do to secure the border? And my colleagues on this side of the aisle are going to say, oh, don't worry, we're going to give you more money for ICE, more money for Border Patrol. But you know what that does? What? It makes it worse. Oh. Because you're funding the processing of people at our border. Mm. Because that's all Border Patrol and ICE are doing. <laughs> yep. But my colleagues on this side of the aisle are going to say, oh, look at us. We did something for you for border security. It ain't true. It's going to make it worse. And anybody who's been to the border, anybody who talks to Border Patrol, anybody who talks to ICE knows that's true. We're not going to get a vaccine mandate. We're not going to get a secure border. And we're not going to get more oil and gas being produced in America. So, so. And then we're going to say, great, let's have a vote and send more lethal aid to Ukraine. And we're not even going to have a debate down here about what we're doing in funding Ukraine with Putin rolling over Ukraine. All we're doing is backroom deal making. Mm -hmm. waiting for somebody to drop a bill on the floor of the House and then come down and vote yes or no. That is a disgusting display by both sides of this body. We ought to have a full and open debate on the floor of the House He's good. about what we're doing in sending arms to Ukraine, how much we're spending, Great. what it means for our involvement, what it means for NATO, what it means for stopping Putin, and stop spending money we don't have. Stop funding tyranny. Stop forcing Americans to get a jab or lose their job. Stop leaving yes. the border wide open and right. stop selling the American people a bill of goods. And I'm looking directly at my party when I say that. And I yield back.